What's up, freaks? Getting set for a boxing cardio session. All you're gonna need to be doing today is punching with tons of cardio exercises. Getting ready to roll, get your gloves on, get gloved up. You need them for, you need, we're gonna get warmed up first, go through all the basic punches. Tons of cardio movements mixed in. It's gonna be punches to cardio. Gonna be non-stop movements. You're gonna go from a punch to a cardio, back to a punch. What's up, Jeffrey, Clara, Ita? We are getting ready to roll. So just get gloved up, finish getting your hands wrapped up if you need to. Do what you gotta do. We are gonna be kicking ass, gonna be fast paced, high intensity. Beth, what's up? So get your gloves on, get wrapped up, you have your bag, get set up for your bag. You're gonna be doing cardio movements next to your bag. So every time you're gonna draw a combo, we'll go through it in the warm up exactly how it's all gonna work. So get gloves up, and we're gonna, we're gonna go through each, each type of punch is gonna have a cardio exercise attached to it. Meaning, every time you finish a combo with a certain kind of punch, you'll hit two reps, or one rep, depending on the exercise, of a specific cardio exercise. So with a one, so with a jab, for instance, that's gonna be matched up with jumping jacks. For a two, has split jacks, and we're gonna go through all those in the warm-up as well. So get gloved up. Let's go through the warm-up. We're gonna walk you through it. Nice and slow as we get loosened up. Sam, what's up? Ava, usual morning freaks. So check it out. If your combo starts in a one or has a one, it has a one, a one, you're gonna add in two jacks. So let's just start off with a nice, light, and easy with a one, jack, jack. Reset, not non-stop, so just warm it up. We're just getting your blood flowing. Hands up, straight left, two jacks. You're getting squared off, not a front and back jack, and then get back to your stance. Bounce around, light around, straight left. So again, it's gonna be a punch to two reps of a cardio exercise. So get that in there. So in your stance, Jab, jack, jack, pop, jack, jack. If you still need to get warmed up a little more, check it out, you can modify it, you could throw your jab and just step out to the side if you have to. So modify that jack if you need to. Just get started, just get the blood flowing. Jab, jack, jack. Keep those hands up while you're jacking. Reset, hands back up, pop, pop, pop. Get that flowing, light on your feet, bounce on your step. Moving, bouncing, jab, jab, pop, 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 jack, jack, hands up. Reset in between, move around, we're not rushing, just getting started. You're going to get plenty of reps in of these, so don't rush this here. We're just getting started, loosening up, pop, step out, step out. So every time a combo say ends with a jab, you're going to add in two jacks at the end of the combo. Pop, pop, jack. Jack, couple more, just to get it down. Pop, pop, jack, jack, pop, pop, jack, jack. All right, so jabs go with jacks. Just get, continue getting warmed up. Let's stretch out, let's get those quad stretches. Heels to the glutes. Stretch it out, hold for one to three seconds each side. Keep your balance, working on that balance on that opposite side at the same time. Stretch it. Whew. Getting that blood flowing. Breathing it out, getting ready for work. All right, now our two. We know our two is our straight right. Pivoting this right foot, straight out there, right back in. Left hand stays glued up. So two, right there. Still a couple twos by itself, just to get loosened up. Right down the middle. Pivot that right foot. Whip the right hip. With twos is going to go split jacks. So you're going to throw a two. And you're gonna hit one, two, three, four. Pop, two. One, two, three, four. So you're gonna hit two split jacks. It's a four count move because it's two, two of each side. So straight right, split jack. So from the side, you can see straight right, just right down the middle. One, two, three, four. Feet are going front to back. Get those a few times on your own. So again, 
Bam, if you need to modify that, just get your feet together, step back, two, three, four. That's your stance, pop for the two. One, two, three, four. Tap it out, tap it out, breathe. Step back, if you have to, if you're not ready to jump or bounce yet, because we are just getting warmed up, just getting rolling, just getting stretched out. Move around in between, flowing. One, two, three, four on the split jacks. Straight right. Four split jacks, hands up, hands up, move around, little flow. So you don't have to go non-stop here. You should have a little rhythm in between, little bounce, little reset, little flow. One, two, three, four of those, hands stay up. Hands stay up the entire time. One, two, three, four. Boom, right down the middle. Four split jacks. Reset. One, two, three, four. Couple more. Bam, again, you have to tap, tap, tap. So don't forget, you're always starting in your stance here, the one leg back. You're pivoting on that punch. After the exercise, get back to that basic stance. Split jack is easy, because you end up right back in that stance anyway. Hands up. One, two, three, four, last one. One, two, three, four. And let's get that chest Stretch, open it up, fling it open, right on the top, right on the bottom. While you're walking around, moving around. <sighs> Breathe it out, getting loosened up with that upper body. <sighs> Exhale, strong, fling it open. Strong deep breaths, strong breathing. We're moving, just getting started. All right, we know our three. Our three is our left hook. Throw a couple threes. Left hook. So your elbow bent 90 degrees. Move it parallel to the floor. Pivot this left hip. Pivot the left foot. Whip the left hip. Right hand stays glued. Up at your chin. Right there. So with the threes are going to go butt kicks. Four butt kicks. So every combo that ends in a three. Three. You're going to go one, two, three, four. So you're from the side view. Three, feet together then immediately for one, two, three, four. After that, step back into your stance. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. We're still just in the air. Even if you have a bag, we're in the air right now. So just practice that on your own here. Three, if you need to modify the butt kick, just do heel backs right here. Get back to your stance. Three, one, two, three. Four, squeezing those hamstrings. Boom. One, two, three. Heels back. Strong hamstrings. Bouncing your step, light in your feet, a little bounce in your toes. Let's do it. Let's roll. One, two, three, four. On the butt kicks. Bam. One, two, three, four. Turn that hip, turn that hip. Pivot that foot. Boom. Four butt kicks. Left hook. One, two, three, four. Just getting loosened up. Again, modifies at any time. So listen, look at these modifications. We're showing these modifications on every exercise. Doesn't mean you only need to do it in the beginning for the warm up. It also doesn't, and you keep working while I'm saying this. Also doesn't mean that you only do it if you can't do the full thing. Maybe later on, when we're 40 minutes into this thing, and you're dripping sweat, and you're exhausted because you've been going all freaking out the whole time because you're a freak. You're a peak freak. Maybe later on, and we're on a, a minute round, and you're throwing a left a combo that ends of the left hook, and you just don't have that bounce left. You could take, you could modify it without stopping. So it's always a progression, always a regression to keep it going so you don't stop. All right, time. Let's get knee hugs in. Hug the knee to your chest. Hug it up to your chest. Hold it for again, one to three seconds. At the same time, balancing on that other side, that other leg. Still just getting these legs ready for work, for real work. Just getting the blood flowing. Just warming up. Getting it rolling. Get it up there. Oh yeah. Nice. All right, so we're going four. Four is gonna go with high knees. We're gonna go with a modification for high knees first. So four we know is our right hook. Throw a couple fours by itself first. Elbow up and out. Pivoting that right foot. Whip the right hip. Whole body's turning like a door swinging on a hinge. Coming from the side. Right hook. 
four. All right, at four high knees. So hit a four. One, two, three, four. Back to your stance. Four. Again, modify it by just marching in place, getting those knees up there to get those hip flexors warmed up a little bit. Just rolling. Wake your ass up. March it out. Four. One, two, three, four. After the four, get back to your stance every single time. Boom. There it is. Right hook. March it. And look, check it out. You could go one time. High knees. Next time. March it out if you have to. In the warm up or once you get tired. It's still going to work. You're still going to be driven sweat. You're still going to get crazy results. You're still going to get crazy weight loss. Keep rolling. One, two, three, four. Right hook. March it. March it. Get him up. Right hook. March it out. High knee it out. Bouncing your step. Just get rolling. Just getting the blood flowing. Loosen up those hips. Loosen up those shoulders. Right hook. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah. Get him up. One more. One, two, three, four. All right. We're going to go back to that upper body stretch. So you're going to fling it open, stretch, hold for one to three seconds on that shoulder stretch. Fling it open and grab a stretch and hold on the other side. While you're still moving the feet, whether you're just stepping in place, walking in place, walking in circles, stepping side to side, doesn't matter. Just keep that blood flowing. Keep that energy level up. Continuing to get ready to freaking work. Stretch it. While you're getting a strong, steady breathing in. Just getting warmed up. Just getting rolling. Get one more on the other side. Stretch it. All right, let's go to our fives. Shake it out, freaks. Shake it out. Let's go. Five is our left uppercut. So it's our lead hand uppercut, our front hand uppercut. A couple fives by itself first. You should be able to get a crunch and dig it in there. Even though it's your, your lead side, you're not getting much of a wind up, you should get some pop on there. Twist from your lats, your obliques. Power is coming from the ground up from your legs. Right hand stays up. With the left uppercut, we're going to add in two squat jumps. Anytime it ends in a left uppercut, it's two squat jumps. Warming up. This will really change your stance. You just face at an angle. You can hit two squats here to get started. You're not ready to jump yet, that's fine. Or you can get two squat jumps, five. And again, you can alternate here in the warm up. You can alternate later as we're getting deeper into the freaking rounds. Five, two squat jumps. A modification. So the modification here is just a body weight squat all the way down there for two. You need to modify that. Just go partially down. It's still gonna work. Modify before you stop. So I'm going to show these modifications as the warm-ups because you're going to use them later on. If there's something you can't do, you're getting, you're too, you're getting too tired, you're losing your technique. Because you don't want to be getting, doing sloppy reps later on when you're tired. That's how you get injured. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Five. And squat jump. Crunch. Boom. And you do just a squat if you need to. Boom. Just one. Five, a couple more, full deep squat, last one, boom, all right, wide feet, we're going to get this stretched out, wider than shoulder width, check this out, you're going to reach in the middle, stretch those hamstrings and lower back, you're going to come up, reach both arms straight overhead, then you're going to reach to the right, with both hands, fling the chest open. Back to the middle, up, left, out. Go at your own pace. Hold the bottom for an extra second or two if you need to. Shake it out, stretch it out. Every time you come to the middle, you go up, go to the side, out to the side. Middle, up, left, out. Middle, up, right, out. Keep rolling. Getting that upper body and lower body stretched together here. Breathe it out. Middle and up. Left. Out. There it is. Right and out. Shake it, 
shake it, shake it. Now we're getting warmed up. We're getting there. One more to go. All right, six. Right up cut. It's gonna go with the squat thrust. First throw a couple sixes by itself. Crunch in. Drive it up. After a six. One squat thrust. Boom! Upper cutters are coming up. Modification for this. A walking squat thrust. So squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in. Boom. Or regular full jumping jack. Squat down, step back, uppercut. Walk it out. If you're walking it out, keep rolling, keep rolling. If you're walking on that squat thrust, make sure you alternate which side is stepping back first. So one time, step back right, step back left, step forward right, step forward left, hit that right uppercut, that's six. The next squat thrust, step back left side first, then right, left side forward, right side forward, squat up. Let's do it, two more, two more. And boom, walk it out. And time. All right, shake it out, whatever additional stretches you need on your own. Repeat any of the stretches we did. Just get rolling, shake them, stretch them, do what you gotta do. All right, so don't forget with the ones, went jumping jacks. With the twos, went split jacks. With the threes, went butt kicks. With the fours, high kicks. With the fives, went squat jumps. And with the six, went squat thrust. So any combo that ends in that punch, you're gonna add that cardio exercise. We're gonna keep it simple. So if you have a bag, you can jump on the bag now. You don't even need a bag. You're gonna get crazy effect, you're gonna get in crazy good shape, lose tons of weight just by doing this in the air. I'll put Bob here to demonstrate on the bag on some of these rounds also, but you don't even need a bag. You don't even need freaking gloves. You can just be in the air. You want a challenge? Use little two pound, three pound dumbbells. That'll be more than, more than enough challenge that you freaking need. All right, so let's do it. We're gonna start with a one, two. That means we add a split jack, because it ends in a two, split jack goes with a two. Let's do it, let's do it, if you have a bag. So you're just here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Always getting back to your stance, so four split jacks. One, two, three, four. So split jacks, front to back jacks, with every one, two. Because it ends in a two, that means we're adding a split jack. One, two, three, four. Fly straight punches. Where are you going, Bob? Where are you going? That's one more. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. One, two. Split jack. Two, three, four. Around a little bit. So straight punches. Four split jacks, keep rolling, keep rolling. Let's roll, freaks. So you're on a one, two, one, two, three, four, reset. One, two, three, four. So straight left, straight right. There it is. Hands up. Even the hands up while you're jacking. Abs are strong the whole time. Bouncing your step, lighting your feet. One, two, three, four, and that split jack. Nice and warmed up. Let them fly. Feeling good. Let's do it. Bounce it. If you don't need anything, you don't even need a bag. If you have it, bang it out. But you don't need it. One, two, three, four. Hands up. And time. All right, next combo. We're going right down the line. Next combo is gonna be a two, one. A two, one. So straight right, straight left, which means two jacks. Got it? Going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Two, one. And it ends with a one. That means we're adding two regular jumping jacks. Legs only jacks, no arms. Hands up. One, two on the jack. Back to your stance. You gotta bounce back into that stance every time. One, two, 
two, one, two jacks. There it is. Let's give Bob some action here. Two, one. Bounce back to your stand every time. Robert, don't try and run it high, Robert. Move around. Even if you have a bag, move around, circle around, shuffle around your bag, different angles. So two, one. Two is your straight right. One is your straight left. Two, jacks. Again, don't forget, after your two, one, if you need to modify the jacks, just step out one time each time. And that counts as two reps. Let's do it. Two, one, two jacks back to your stance. One, two, here it is. One, two. We're moving. We're moving full of energy. We're awake now. We're warmed up. Our blood is flowing. Full of freaking energy. Boom. Two, one, two jacks. Run away. Stay there, boy. Let's do it. Two jacks. Don't forget the modification. If you need to, you step out. Tap. Tap. Alternate reps. One time. Tap it if you need to. One time. Jump it if you can. Let's go. Two more. There it is, time, time, time. When we hit this time, that's your chance to shake it out for a couple of seconds. We got three, four coming up, three, four coming up. You know, if it ends in a four, we add four high knees. Three, four, three is our left hook, four is our right hook. One, two, three, four, four high knees. All right, let's do it in three, in two, in one. Let's roll, three, four, one, two, three, four on the high knees. After the high knees, make sure to step back into your stance. So let's roll, let's do it. You can march it out, don't forget, if you have to. Push the pace. If you're feeling good, you're warmed up, you're rolling. Bang goes out. Hooks. You can go to the body. Have a bag, hooks to the head, four high knees. Let's do it, let's roll. Three, four, four high knees. Don't forget, three is your left hook, you're pivoting, your elbow bent 90 degrees, move parallel to the four while your right hand stays up. Right to a four, your right hook, same game, pivoting that same side that you're punching with. Let's do it, three, four. Don't forget the modification is just to march. In place, back to your stance, three, four, and you can high knee it out. Back to your stance, boom, three, four, march if you need to. Keep those abs strong. Those abs are what's bringing that knee up there. Let's do it, let's roll, ha, ha. Bang it out, pump it out. March, knees up, abs. Strong, boom, boom. Three, four is our combo. Body shots if you want to. Have some fun, mix it up. That's three, four, that's your left hook, your right hook. Keep it rolling. Let's go, a few more, a few more, a few more. One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 ha. March. Last one. And time. Nice. Fist bump, fist bump. Harry knuckle, fist bump. All right. The only break here is me explaining what the next round is. So the second I say time, that's your chance to stretch, stretch it, shake it, sip it, do what you got to do while I just let you know what's coming up. That is your only break. 
right now. So now we did a one, two, a two, one. We did a three, four. Obviously, we're going to a four, three. So four, three is a right hook, left hook. Just get that a couple times in. Just a four, three by itself in the air if you need to. Four, three, right hook, left hook. Play those elbows out, turn the body. We know if it ends in a three, if it ends in a three, which is our left hook, we do the four butt kicks, right? Four butt kicks. Stretch those legs in between if you need to. Keep them loose. Stretch the hips. Do what you gotta do. All right, four, three, four butt kicks. Going to three, two, one, boom. Four, three, and heels back for four butt kicks. Back to your stance. After every combo, you've gotta get back to the freaking stance. Four, three, four butt kicks. There it is. Remember, heels back. Shoot from the side view if you have to. You can just kick those out. Find your target if you have it. Oh, we did a three, four. That's all right. Four, three. That's a right hook. Left hook. Four, three, four butt kicks. Keep rolling. Keep bouncing. Keep it moving. Heels back. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Remember, you throw those. Let your hips and legs swing into those punches. So entire body gets into those punches. Keep it rolling. Four, three. Butt kicks for four. Oh yeah, elbows up and out. If you're not dripping sweat by now, if you're not already out of breath and already dripping sweat, you're doing something wrong. Are you cranking the damn AC too high? Lower that shit. Pump it out. Right hook, left hook, four butt kicks. Let's go. Four, three. Pivot your feet. Think about whipping your right hip on the floor. Now think about whipping this left hook, hip, into the target for the three. Your hips leading the way. Power is coming from the ground up. Let's roll. A few more. Four, three. Kick back. Four, three. One, two, three, four. Boom. One, two, three, four. Kick it. Heels. Back. Oh yeah, last one. Three, four, and time. Nice round. We're gonna keep it rolling. Get your breath, shake it, shake it, shake it. Next combo is a five, six. Stretch in between, do whatever you need to do. This is your only chance. Your only chance. And you know if it ends in a six, we do a squat thrust. So if the combo ends in a six, we add a squat thrust. It ends in the six. So this combo is five, six. Let's throw a couple five sixes first. By itself. All right, then you're gonna add a squat thrust. All right, so it's five, six, squat thrust. Five, six, squat thrust. Let's roll. Going in three, two, one. Boom, let's do it. Five, six, down, out, in, up. Don't forget, if you need to modify, if you can't jump, you squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in, stand up. And then throw your five, six. Again, if you need to, you hold a, a chair, a ledge, a step, whatever, table, couch, and you can hold that and step back. Or you can hold that, jump back, and then they come up before you throw your five, six. Let's do it. Five, six. Squat thrust. Left up, right up, for five, six. Dig it, crunch into it. Five, six, squat thrust. Back to your stance when you get up. Don't forget to get back to your stance. Don't rush it. We're just standing at an angle and then face this way. Turn, so I'm going right into that squat thrust. Squat, back, in, and up. There it is. Five, six, left uppercut. Don't forget, five is your 
Left uppercut. Six is your right uppercut. Keep it rolling. Five, six. Down, out, in, up. We're moving. Push the pace. There it is. Okay, if you need to modify, you squat down, step back, step back, step in, step in. Squat up. Let's keep it moving on that five, six. Get the body into the five, six. Crunch in the obliques, the lats, the legs are what's throwing that punch. Let's do it. Move around a little bit. Use the floor space. Move. Keep that engine a little high. Keep it rolling. Five, six. Squat throws. Right back up. And high. Nice round. All right. Shake it. Last one for this segment. For this two punch combo segment. Is a six. Five. So now it's the opposite we just did. So that's a right uppercut. Left upper. We know if it ends in a left uppercut. What are we adding? Two squat jumps. If you have to do squats, do squats. If you could jump, jump. Six, five. Two squat jumps. Do what you got to do before we start. Shake it. Stretch it. Keep those hips loose. Getting ready for those squat jumps. Getting ready for the twisting on the uppercuts. Six, five, two squat jumps. Going in three, two, one, and boom. There it is. Six, five, two squat jumps. Oh, yeah. Come here, Bobby. Come here. You have to you just squat. Six, five, two squats. Let's roll. That's a right six. It's a right upper. Five, your left upper. Two squat jumps. Six, five. Oh, yeah. Get some air. It's the last one for this round. Last segment. Two squats if you need to. Keep rolling, keep rolling while I'm talking. Listen, if you need to modify something, if you need to do a squats instead of squat jumps, or walking squat thrusts instead of walking squat thrusts, should I do it all the time? It's called training smart and, and then not straining yourself. You know what you're capable of doing. You know when you need to take a rep off. And it's not even taking a rep off. It's just modifying so that you can keep going. There's certain movements I can't do certain days because my knees are tweaked, shoulders tweaked, and I'll modify the whole time. There's no shame in it. If, I'm, if I need to modify some stuff, you shouldn't have, be, have any worry about needing to modify stuff when you need to. Of course, the key phrase there is when you need to. Shit, you could jump, jump nonstop. Six, five. Get up there. Boom. Boom. Crunch it. Those abs into it. There it is. Hands up. Bouncing your step. Land on your feet. Get Bob some action. Oh yeah. Right upper, left upper. It's a boom, boom. Ooh, some chin music. Some chin music for Bobby. Let's go a couple more. Six, five. Squat jump for two. Last one for this segment. Boom, boom. One more, one more. Oh yeah, get up. And time, shake it, shake it. It's the end of that full round. End of that segment. Shake it out, get some water. Just gonna check if you have any questions, comments. Put them down there below. Keep it moving, active recovery. Should be walking, shaking, stretching, not just sitting still. Unless you have a question down there. Just gonna take the glove off to scroll here. What's up? Can you help with anything? Any questions on the workouts? Nutrition? This is your time to ask. Keep it moving. Should be walking around. Walking in circles, catching your breath. Let's 
Staying hydrated. Stretching, shaking. Getting set up for the next round. Stretch your quads. Stretch your shoulders. You already know the exercise. Those six exercises are staying the same. So we did one punch combos. We did two punch combos. We're moving up to three punch combos. Three punches. Oh yeah. Let's go to three punch combos here. I'm gonna start with a one, two, three. Don't forget, if it ends in a three, that means what? Butt kicks. Let me tell you, my shirt is already completely drenched, soaked. If you're not already soaked and sweating and out of breath, you're doing something wrong, you need to push it faster, you need to go a little harder pace. This is, I don't know if you can see that, this shirt is completely freaking soaked. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. So we'll go through that combo a couple times first. One, two, three. Simple combo, straight, straight, hook. Adding in four butt kicks, running with your heels back. All right, let's do it. In three, two, one. Three punch combos, go. One, two, three. And four butt kicks. One, two, three. That's a straight, straight hook. Straight left, straight right, left hook. Four butt kicks, because it ended in a three. Let's go over to Bob. Four butt kicks. Three punches, four butt kicks. So it's a straight left, straight right, left hook. One, two, three, and bucking. Don't forget if you need to modify, look from the side. Just kick those heels back for four. One, two, three. Four butt kicks, let's do it. One, two, three, hook. Heels back, kick it, kick it, kick it, keep it moving. Oh yeah. Three punches, four kicks. Ah, yeah, that left hook to the body, just for fun. One, two, three. One, two, three. Straight, straight, hook, four. Heel backs, or butt kicks, hands up, hands up. Bounce, flow, rhythm. One, two, three, four. Don't forget on the two, turn and pivot. The left hand up. As I turn into this, whoosh, pivot that left foot with the right hand up. Elbow up and out. A few more, a few more. One, two, three, four. Last one. Four butt kicks. Time. All right. That was a one, two, three. We're going to two, three, four. So a two, we know is our straight right. Three is a left hook. Four is a right hook. If it ends in a four, we know we finish with four high knees. Throw a couple times first, two, three, four by itself. Just to get the combo down. Just the two, three, four by itself. There you go. Two, three, four. All right, let's add the high knees. Let's do it in three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, four, High knees. Four high knees. Two, three, four. So that's a straight hook, hook. Bounce it out. Bounce it out. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. March it out if you have. Look, you could just do, you can even do. A low fast march, then you do two, three, four. You could do a higher, slower march just to mix it up. Still getting that core work. You're still moving, the blood's still flowing, you're still burning fat. Keep it rolling. Abs tight. And look, after you hit those four high knees, right, you have to step back, get back into your basic stance every single time. 
Don't rush it. Don't go and punch him with your feet out of position. Always get into your stance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There it is. A few more, a few more, two, three, four. High knees. Put those legs out. Those knees up. Last two, last two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Time. All right. Stick with three punch combos, and we're hitting a variation that we end up finishing with all the six basic punches, so we hit all six of those exercises. So this one's gonna end in a five, which means we add two squat jumps. So it's gonna be three, four, five. Three, four, five. Cracks out a few times, just the combo, not the exercise yet. So three is our left hook, four is our right hook, five is our left upper. Let's do it. Three, four, five. Just a combo by itself. Full speed. Reset after each one. All right. Ends in a five. We're adding two squat jumps. If you can't jump, two squats. Let's roll. In three, two, one. Begin. It's three, four, five. Two squat jumps. Three, four, five. Oh yeah. Three, four, five. Do regular squats if you need to. Three, four, five. Two squats up. That's left hook, right hook, left upper. Finishes the left upper, so we hit the two squat jumps. Or two squats if you need to. Oh yeah, Bob is taking a beat today. Oh, well, something really satisfying about those uppercuts right under the chin with Bob's head snapping back. But let's do it, three, four, five. Two squat jump, get up there. Land back into your stance. Oh yeah. Keep rolling. A few more, a few more. Three, four, five. Oh yeah. Coming in all different angles. So we're coming left hook, right hook, and boom underneath for that left upper. And then two squat jumps. Boom, boom, boom. One more, one more. Oh yeah. All right. Keeping the three punch combos rolling. We did a one, two, three, a two, three, four, a three, four, five. We gotta finish this one in a six. So this one's gonna be four, five, six, adding in a squat thrust. So the four, right hook, five, left upper, six, right upper. Let's do just a combo by itself, no exercise, just for a few. Four, five, six, let's do it. Right hook, left upper, right upper. Get that body, get the waist, get the obliques into it, get the abs into this. Four, five, six. Reset, reset. Oh yeah. Turn the body, hands up in between. All right, let's add in that squat thrust. It's four, five, six. One squat thrust. Let's do it in three, two, one. Now let's roll. Four, five, six, down, out, in. And up. Keep it rolling. Four, five, six. Oh yeah. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Bang it out, bang it out. Nice. Lie down your feet. Four, five, six. Let's give her Bob. Let's give some Bob some four, five, six action. Come on over here. Quit running away. Quit your running. Quit your running. Down, out, in, and up. 
Oh yeah. Rolling, we're flowing. You have to, don't forget, you can walk out those squat thrusts. Don't forget, you have to modify the squat thrusts. Walk it out. So it's four, five, six. Squat down, you can step back, step in, squat back up. Squat thrust. Oh yeah. We're cruising. Breathe it out. Control it. Strong abs. We're rolling. Oh yeah. A few more. Keep going. Just flow right from that squat thrust right into the punch. Time. All right. We now need to end up these three punch combos with our straight left and our straight right. So this next one, we're gonna end in a two. It's gonna be simple. It's just gonna be a one, one, two. We're getting those four split jacks in between, which is gonna land you right back into that same stance. So keep those hands up. Practice with the combo by itself first without the cardio exercise. So just the one, one, two to start. Hands are up, reset. So it's one, one, two. It just sounds just like that. Pop, pop, boom. One, one, two. So also your one. Look for side view. It's not just pulling out there. It's coming all the way back. A couple more. It's just the punt, just the combo by itself. One, one, two. All right. Let's add in the split jacks. So it's one, one, two, four split jacks. We got it. Let's roll. One, one, two. One, two, three, four. The legs only. I'll show you from the side. One, two, three, four. Bouncing your step for four. Hands up. One, one, two. Split jack for four. Come here, Bob. One, two, three, four. Dig it in, dig it in. Pop it. One, one, two. Four split jacks. Keeping it rolling. Feet front to back. Bouncing your step, light on your feet. We're flowing, a little rhythm. In between, reset, move around a little bit. Little flow, little bounce. One, two, three, four. Bouncing your step. Hands up, hands up. Oh yeah, straight punches. One, one, two, four split jacks. Keep working, keep rolling. We're late in the game. One, two, three, four. Couple more, couple more, couple more. One, one, two. Hands up. Bounce it out. Light in your feet. One, two, three, four. And time. All right. All we have to do is hit our sixth and final variation of these three punch combos. We wanted to end in a one so we can hit our two jacks. It's the only one we haven't finished with is a one. We've already finished with a two, three, four, five, six, all other five variations. The sixth variation of a three punch combo. So we can end in a one is gonna be a three, two, one. Practice that a couple times just in the air. Three, two, one. So three is our left hook, two is our straight right, one is our lead, our straight jab. Three, two, one. Hook, straight, straight. Practice just the punches first. Hands up. And we're gonna add in two jacks. Let's do it. Three, two, one, two jacks, the sixth and final version of these three punch combos followed by the cardio exercise. Let's do it. Three, two, one, two jacks. Back to your stance. One, two, back 
to your stance. One, two, come here, Bobby. Two jacks. Three, two, one. That's a left hook, straight right, straight left. Oh yeah. Pass it out. Land on the feet. Back inside. Dig it. Dig it. Bounce it. Three, two, one. Two jacks. Keep it moving. Two jacks. Back to your stance. Boom. Late in the game. We're going 60 minutes. Straight through. Three, two, one, two jacks. Left hook, straight right, straight left, two jacks. Shake it. Shake it. We got a long combo coming up. Questions, comments, put them below. Checking out what you have to say. Keep it moving. Active recovery. Keep walking it off. Shaking it, shaking it. Let's do it. Keep moving. Keep rolling. We're going to combine everything together that we've done into one big flow. So finish this off. A long chain of events to take this home. The home stretch. So we know with the ones, go the jacks. We know with the twos, go the split jacks. We know with the threes, goes the butt kicks. Fours, goes high knees. Five, goes squat jump. Six, goes squat thrust. We're gonna hit all those together straight through. Throwing two of each punch. So it's going to be one, one, jack, jack, two, two, split jack, split jack, three, three, butt kick, butt kick, four, four, high knee, five, five, squat jump, six, six, squat thrust. We're taking it home just like that. We're not done. We're not done. You're not, you're not recovering already. You're not stopping. This is the final round. The final round. Long chain. Putting it all together. Let's do it. I'll walk you through the first one if you don't got it, but you should have it because this shit should all be already drilled into your brain. We've been doing this for 60 minutes straight. I'll walk you through the first one nice and slow. It's just two of each punch. Let's go. One, one, jack, jack, two, two, split, split, three, three, butt kick, four, four, high knees. Five, five, squat jump for two. Six, six, squat thrust. You got that? You're gonna flow through that to burn out this final round, your own pace, as hard as you can, as fast as you can. I'll walk through it again while you're going. If you have this down, you're sure to be banged out. Let's do it. Going in three, two, one, burn it out. One, one, jack, jack, two, two, split, split, three, three, butt kick. Four, four, high knees. Five, five, squat jump for two. Into it, six, six, squat thrust. Right back to a one, one, jack, jack. Two, two, split for four, three, three. Butt kick, one, two, three, four, four, four. High knee for four. Five, five, squat jump for two. Six, six, squat thrust, right back to a one, one, jack, jack, two, two, split for four, three, three, butt kick, four, 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 high knee, five, five, squat jump, six, six, squat thrust, come on, a few more times through, jack, jack. Two, two, split for four, three, three, butt, kick, 
four, four, five, knee, five, five, squat, jump, six, six, squat, thrust, one more time, one more time through, let's roll. sound and it's time that was a full round you've just literally done hundreds thousands of punches hundreds of reps of cardio exercises in a short amount of time chaining that stuff together making it happen killing the fat with literally you don't need any you don't need any space for this you don't need any equipment for this you don't even need to leave your damn house for this and you're able to get a full total body workout. You should be soaking wet. There's not a dry spot on this damn shirt right now. And I'm in fairly decent shape. And if I could get a full workout out of this right from the garage with zero equipment, you didn't even need the gloves. You could just be in the air. You're gonna get a crazy workout. Again, light dumbbells. If you have a bag, great. Mix it in. You should be doing half it, most of it, 75% in the air, just to show you don't even need the bag. But if you have one, obviously it's fun and satisfying to sink those knuckles under the Bob's chin back there or your heavy bag. But it just shows you what you can get done in a short amount of time with little to no equipment. You can get a crazy total body workout. So if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. You should be beginning the recovery process right now. You should be stretching. You should have your post-workout shake ready. They've, they've told us since we were kids that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and that is bullshit. Your post-workout meal is your most important workout of the day, make no mistake about it. And probably your second most important day, meal of the day is your pre-workout meal. And if it happens to be early in the morning, that's your breakfast, that's fine. And then maybe breakfast falls behind that, but everyone's not working out like you freaks at five, six in the morning. Or for me, this is actually three in the morning here on the West Coast, but this is how we roll on a Tuesday. And that's my day that I get a couple days a week. I get up at either 3 or 4 a.m. just to get shit done because I want to be on East Coast time for a lot of the work and a lot of the appointments that we have and meetings that we have. So get it done. Make no freaking excuses. There's always a way to make it happen, whether in, in fitness, in business, in freaking life. There is always a way to make it happen. You have the same amount of hours in the day as everyone else. So don't make an excuse on your time zone or anything else and lockdowns and all this other bullshit, there is always a way to make it happen in all freaking areas of life and it all starts with your mind, then your body, then you worry about everything else when it comes to your business and the rest of your life. But without first locking down your mind, without strengthening and making your body durable to handle the craziness and handle a hectic crazy schedule, building that empire, building that business or whatever you're doing is useless. So let's do it. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. I will talk to you later. Sam, who's in there? Sam, Ava, Clara, awesome work over on Facebook. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.